Live Golf had another active week before and after Brooks Kepka won in Singapore for his first title of the year. Greg Norman, the CEO of the Saudi-funded league, had a couple of bold comments in an interview with Bloomberg that indicated Liv isn't going anywhere. He said Yasir al Rumayan, the governor of the public investment fund that has invested billions in the PGA Tour's rival league, told him Liv Golf will be well and truly in operation well past his death. And he's a young guy, Norman said. The Shark also tossed out the idea of Liv buying golf courses that would serve as the home venue of teams, much like in team sports. And to top it off, he challenged criticism that no one was tuning in to watch. What's the definition of tuning in? He asked Bloomberg. To an 18-year-old, to a 25-year-old, tuning in maybe 12 seconds on the phone. Let me see this, then we'll go back and do that, and then I'll come back over here and do another 14 seconds on this. That to me is tuning in, he said. That to me is a market that's enormously wealthy, right? And enormously influential in the direction where we're going. As for the majors, let Phil Mickelson take it from there. He saw an ex-post on Sunday that said Liv should make it a priority to get its players access to the majors. Mickelson replied in a post that he later deleted, maybe some live players won't be missed. But what if none of the live players played? Would they be missed? What about next year when more great players join? Or the following year? At some point they will care and will have to answer to sponsors and television. Farfo. The abbreviation is slang for, expletive, around and find out. The next day, Taylor Gooch and David Puig were among live players to accept invitations to the PGA Championship. It wasn't all saucy. Liv announced that longtime Pepsi executive Adam Harter would be its new chief marketing officer. That follows appointments of a chief financial officer, two executive vice presidents and two other hires. It certainly doesn't sound as though Liv Golf is going anywhere. Good timing for LPGA. A deal announced six months ago is paying dividends for the LPGA to this week. ESPN Plus and the LPGA signed a two-year agreement for eight tournaments to be streamed live through the 2025 season. In a fortuitous turn of events, one of those tournaments is the Cognizant Founders Cup. Attention figures to be high as Nelly Corder tries to set the LPGA Tour record with six straight victories. Her victory in the Chevron Championship three weeks ago tied the mark shared by Nancy Lopez and Annika Sorenstam. Golf Channel typically provides LPGA coverage. But the PGA Tour has two tournaments, Wells Fargo Championship and Myrtle Beach, and the PGA Tour Champions has a major championship, Regions Tradition. The Cognizant Cup originally was scheduled to be shown on tape delay, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. on weeknights, 8.30 p.m. to 10.30 p.m. on the weekend.